Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm on does this. In today's video, we have a battle between two of the most recent sets from Pokemon Sword and Shield. In the blue corner, we have Astro Radiance, and in the red corner, we have Brilliant Stars. Fight. Let's get it. All right, guys. So on the left, we have Astro Radiance, six packs six to be exact. There you go, and on the right side we have Brilliant Star, 6 packs to be exact as well, all Shaman. These are all purchased from the Pokemon Center, so let's see what we have in store, which one will take the win today. I'm going to crack these open, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so kicking things off with Astral Radiance, by the way that intro, that felt awkward, that intro was awkward for me to do, but hey, I wanted to try something different, and that was it, there you go, and as always guys, double cold cards until I run out of them, which I'm kind of running low, these are rubber cash, so there you go, so far so good with my Astral Radiance block, I have pulled quite a few bangers, Links and videos will be in the description down below if you want to see those guys. But let's see how some sleeve boosters against brilliant stars will fare. I mean, I guess, I mean, when you if I can get this open, bloody hell! Yeah, when you're putting sleeve boosters wherever you buy them from Pokemon Center, a regular retail store. I don't know if I could say it's fair to put a pack battle against them because sleeve boosters are always hit and miss. Like you might just one sleeve booster might just give you that ultimate ultimate pull. And then in most cases you're gonna get shafted. Especially if you buy them at a low quantity. If you buy them in big quantities, like a case full of them. Your chances of pulling better cards is probably better. But just buying it from a low sample rate from just, I don't know, random store or even Pokemon Center themselves. Your pull rates aren't going to be that great, I think. You're going to have to open them like a packet of crispers. That's how hard they are to open. There you go. One, two, three, four. Metal Energy, Fresh Water Set, Sigilith. I mean, to be honest, both might end up, end up losing without pulling any hits at all. Or even a Trainer Gallery might be the one to pull one ahead. If we're even lucky to pull any at all. And I completely forgot to give you the call card for the last few packs. Alright, so four from the back. And we have a fire energy. I don't even know how many I've gone through. So one, two, three, and four. There you go. Fire energy, failure, grant, Togetic, Syrian Growlithe, Hissurian Voltorb, Rufflet, Ponyta, Rowlet, Reverse Hissurian Heatherball, and a Hissurian. I can't say this word like consistently. Hisuian Samurai. Astro Radiance is on the left, and it's still on the right. Yep, here we go. Open it like a pocket. See, opening like that is way easier. In terms of brilliant stars, I only need three cards left for the master set, guys. Three cards. Three cards. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull them, probably not. But if not, I will end up purchasing them separately soon and I will have that master set video up for you soon as well. If you are, if you are a subscriber or a main viewer from this channel, look forward to it soon. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe for when that video goes live. Also subscribe 
if you enjoy my videos and if you want to see more of these pack openings because I open pretty much every set I'll open up, up all the main sets one of each product at least in most cases I'll be master setting most of them definitely going to master set all of the holiday sets definitely going to do that in terms of main sets some of them I probably will master set all main sets but in some cases I'll go heavier than others Let's go! stars we have a single strike version with VMAX so so far and a double Yahoo! battle I run V. Nice, so Brilliant Star so far has pulled ahead with four packs remaining on each side. Oof! With that hit, that Urshifu V Max and Agron V, I, I have a feeling Brilliant Stars is actually gonna win. I have a feeling Brilliant Star is going to win though. I think Ash Reynolds might not have anything at all. High five. High five. Yep. I think Brilliant Star is going to pull through with a win on this, guys. So, what did I say they were? Red Corner. Red Corner is going to win, guys. Red Corner is going to win. So, it's Brilliant Stars. And I completely forgot again. One. Two and three. Oh, I gave you one extra. Oh, actually, no, that's perfect. What one? That's from the sleeve thing. Go. Byron G. Pacharisu. Plunder Policy. Luxio. Boss Form. Jim Jar. Power Toy. Axu. Nose boss, Pachirisu, and Staraptor. Yep, with only one pack of each left, guys. It's not looking too good for Astral Radiance. Somehow, when my Astral Radiance luck so far has been actually quite good. So, Sleep Boosters, I guess, is the. Um, Kryptonite? My Kryptonite? For this set? Yep, yep, yep. Wow. 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 Astral Radiance was disappointing. So, just from a trainer gallery pool, Brilliant Stars has pulled ahead, and I think I just saw a sneak preview or something in this one. So, high five. Brilliant Stars is definitely going home with the win. Magma Basin, Sneasel, Clink, Spiritomb, Axel, Impidim. Oh no, it's not. And a Mimikyu V Max, so 100%. 100%. Brilliant Stars has taken on the win. Not really too special in terms of pool, pool wise, but we do have some decent pools. So Mimikyu V Max, Agron V, and a single strike Crash of V Max. So, guys, Red Corner 1, that's Brilliant Stars. If you enjoyed this pack battle, if you stuck with me to the end, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on for more, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.